Welcome to See Me Here, where you come for all of your media needs. My name is Ray. It's your boy, Nikki Tay Tay. And today, we are reviewing scary stories to tell in the dark. <laughs> lightning flash, lightning flash. Directed by Andre Ovridal, starring a bunch of kids whose names aren't even clickable on Wikipedia. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Uh, this movie I have been seeing for a while. Uh, not one I was super excited on because it's like a scary movie in the middle of summer or end of summer, however you want to categorize this, this time period. It was a bit weird. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know the director, who I just found out today did The Autopsy of Jane Doe, which was, eh. Ooh, okay. Uh, and so I'm like, you know, like, what, like, what is this? What is this? Uh, I did know that Guillermo del Toro was producing. You know, he had his hand in this. So I was like, okay, the visual should be good. You know, the guy that did Pan's Labyrinth, Hellboy, not the newest one, the, the other good two. Uh, so the visuals, the characters, you know, monsters that we could potentially see would be interesting. Uh, this movie, if I had to be positive in any way, feels like what I should have got from Goosebumps. You stole it right out of my mouth. Yeah. It, it feels like what the Jack Black films should have been. Uh... I'm surprised that this movie was PG-13. Really wanted it to be rated R uh, if you're going to truly scare me. Uh, but but this film is like... I mean, it is based on children's stories, children horror stories, which is ridiculous, a concept. <laughs> like It's like the Berenstain Bears, but like if the bears were evil. <laughs> like, that sounds terrible. Uh, and this movie is somewhat that. It is, it is a children's story that is fitted to be very scary, uh, which doesn't really resonate with anybody over the age of 16. I can personally say. <laughs> I don't think anybody who sees this movie will be scared, uh, not even creeped out. It's just, it's just a film that has things that are like, oh, and then you go to the next scene, and it's like, oh, and you go to the next scene, and it's like, ooh, that was kind of creepy. And you go to the next scene, and it's like, oh, okay. It's a lot of that, you know. The story, the story itself wasn't that good. But I do give them credit for at least trying to create a story that makes sense for you to see all of these characters that were from these books, right? Uh, That's where Goosebumps, to me, failed at. Because they, they took the satire route when this movie actually tried to use the book's material and spread it out throughout the movie in different yeah, ways they tried to, to make sense. It. They right. tried to it. What I think, what I would like more is if they actually like broke the movie into short stories. Okay. If they would have gave us like a super scary 15, 20 minute story with characters that we don't see again. It's like, bam, you got that story next one. Okay. Like, give me the true scary stories to tell in the dark. Not average movie to watch on Netflix. Like, <laughs> if you're going to do that, at least put it like, Make a kid like you know what you would do is you would put kids in a room, have them each tell a scary story. Yeah, and yeah exactly. And so let's set the scene. They are part of the scary. Yeah, story. and it's like the 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 last story is them. Ah, yeah. like I, I, I'm cool with that setup. Okay, as long as the the four or three stories that get me there are scary. But I can say one thing about this movie: it tried. And I, I got I gotta give. Well, they always try. <laughs> no, 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 they don't. Hellboy doesn't try. I gotta give movies credit for trying. I think the best thing about this movie is that Jack Black wasn't in it, right? Uh, and that's no knock to Jack Black, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I just didn't, I like the fact that they tried to scare you. Now, was this movie scary? No. But this movie had a very familiar feel to it, in a good way, right? They gave you, they played on the tropes that people are normally scared of, right? Spiders, and scarecrows. And they played on these common horror tropes that all didn't pan out. But like I said, I gotta give credit for them trying. To me, every movie don't try. And I think this movie did a good job of trying to put their best foot forward and trying to recreate these old books that maybe will never be scary to an audience of the 21st century, right? Yeah, uh, I can't say the best part for me about the film are the visuals. I think the monsters are scary, even if some don't look real. You know, it's like, okay, it's not a CGI, clearly. But... I can I can appreciate the the attempt, you know, the the style they of tried. the monsters, right? See? Like the scarecrow. I can definitely feel Guillermo was like, no, 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 you should do this. And in a lot of ways they did do that. But then somebody was like, nah, we're not doing that. He's only the producer. And it's like, damn, I wish he was a director. Because it probably would have made uh, a lot more realistic looking monsters through the entire movie. But the monsters were cool. Uh, the acting, eh, you know, like I've seen better acting on Boy Meets World. 
what's another Ned's Declassified, <laughs> Zoe 101. I've gotten better acting from kids on Nickelodeon. That's kind of where I'm going. Malcolm in the Middle. Malcolm in the Middle, definitely, definitely better yeah. acting. Uh, but these, I mean, these kids are serviceable. Nobody's gonna win any awards yeah, for this. Nobody stood out. Nobody's getting slimed for this. You know, nobody's <laughs> going to the Nickelodeon show and getting slimed for this. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's, it's an okay film. Well, can we talk about one thing? You know, just small, small thing. I did not need the racial component in this movie, right? They 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 try to splash a little bit of you know this racial component in the scary movie, and I, just, I like it. It, it. It spiced it up for me. But they could. But they, I was like, ooh, wait, it are maybe. <laughs> I thought they was gonna go somewhere. See, they built on they it, didn't, I, and they didn't go anywhere. Didn't, that's why I was. I thought I didn't need it. I agree with that. That's what I'm saying. Like it did, but, but the attempt it, it got me looking. I was like, oh, they talking about some real stuff. And then nothing came of it. So I put it in the movie. It just uh, it's, it's Trump era. <laughs> that's all it that was. It's just, it's just kind of letting you know where you was. Like for people in the people in the theater, they they were quickly reminded. <laughs> well, that is another thing that maybe could have been out the movie. The movie was uh, almost two hours. I think it's an hour and fifty one minutes. If I'm not mistaken. Right that's now. crazy. And a horror movie is usually not this long unless they like overly complex or like recreations like it and stuff like that. So, like I said, this movie tried. And at the end of the day, I got to give credit for them trying. For me, this movie is a 6.9. I think it's almost a 7. Um, definitely needed more scary elements to this film. But visually, it looks good. I'm not mad at it. Uh, the tone to the movie is consistent. You know, it's that dark... Uh, menacing theme that just didn't resonate with the the characters and what they were actually showing me. Uh, I wish I wanted it to be scarier. Should have been rated R. Should have gave me a little bit more blood, and should have been scarier. Hell, even to play some scary music. I, like I didn't even really get like a scary vibe. You know, like give me like Freddy Krueger just like dragging his nails on a furnace, like just out of nowhere. I'm like, oh my god. You know, like give me some of that. Uh, and then this movie didn't did it. They they missed some opportunities. When I review movies. I like to always take into account what genre it falls under. And like you continue to say in your, when you gave your grade, I agree with you, horror movies have to be scary. Or at least suspenseful, right? And this movie didn't deliver on either of those points. I guess for an older demographic, I should say, right? It didn't deliver those points for an older demographic. Definitely not myself. So I have to already take off like three to four points. Just for that alone. Like just for that alone. Everything else could be flawless. Just for that alone, I got to take off at least two to three points. Just like that, boom, that quickly. So, I got to give this movie credit for trying. The visuals were good. They were good. CGI is continuing to step forward. Uh, come down. No, no, I'm not saying that this was that. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying that this was that. I'm just saying that there. I'm just saying that it wasn't cheesy, right? And, and CGI was, as a whole, even at the lowest spiders, form. Those spiders was kind of cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say that. Let me just say that for everybody. Those spiders was a lot. I was like, ooh. Even at its lowest form, it still was serviceable. Okay. Okay. So I, like what you, I like what you want. The acting was just basic. It was bland, basic acting. Nobody did bad. Nobody did good. Nobody stood out. Miracle Whip. So I have to give this movie a 6.4. Okay, I think this movie is worth watching. I actually probably would even watch the sequel. It entertained me enough. Mm. Okay, it entertained me enough. I'm not there. I'm not there. It entertained me enough. I thought I gave it a six point nine. I'm happy with what you did. Don't do more. <laughs> <laughs> Don't continue. Stop here. <laughs> but if they build on this, maybe they can actually give us give a decent, it's scary it's movie. Gotta be rated R. Oh, I'm tired of PG thirteen. I can't really think of that many that I can off the top of my head I can say I enjoy. That's terrible. I need a little bit of blood and I guts. Need I need something that make make me feel it. Make me feel it. But I guess I guess that's a happy medium when you're dealing with a child story. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we don't want to make it too scary to where they can't go, but we don't want to make it too cheesy where adults wouldn't enjoy it. And I feel like you gotta find a happy place. The movie, like I said, it tried. I, like if you take anything from this review, this movie tried. That completes the review of scary stories to tell in the dark. Uh, it's crazy that this movie is still better than the Nun. Yeah, Crooked Man. Uh, it's a lot of movies. It's a movie better than. Uh, you said the Crooked, the Crooked Man. Hell yeah! Don't don't go there. The Crooked Man. Oh, I'm mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say the Crooked Man. The Curse of La Llorona. Oh, oh yeah, they're they're way better. Way better. Way better, way better than those. And those movies like attempted. I was thinking about like, Batman. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot about that. Those movies attempted to be scary. So for this movie to be better than those, it had a lot uh, in its in its concept in the plot. The story was was laid. They just need to up the ante, and, I, and again, with it being a children's book converted to a movie, with it being PG-13, you know, it had a lot of roadblocks. It had a lot of roadblocks preventing it from being scary. Uh, they should have called James Wan. They should have, damn, that would have been a great producer. James Wan and Guillermo del Toro. Oh, I 
might have, I might have to tweet something. Uh, as I said, that completes the review. Let us know how you feel about scary stories. If you are even seeing scary stories, uh, because the summer is almost over, right? And we're just waiting for it. I think everybody's just waiting for it. It and Star Wars. As far as the scary movies are, no, just, just the movies. Okay. Just movies. Everybody waiting for it and Star Wars. I don't think anybody cares about anything else. That is coming out. I mean, this this year has been great but bad because we got all we basically got everything we wanted all at the same time and nothing left for the rest of the year. Uh, make sure you comment, like, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all that sweet YouTube stuff, and don't forget you seen it here.